Today I'm going to show you how to create an action to forward you to an object ID. This is handy, you can forward it to an account, to a case, you know, anything really. So how we would start, I'll link to this help article in the description of the video. But this is what we're going to be doing. So we go into developer console. And from here we go to new lightning component. So I just named this navigate to record and submit. So there's three different ones we need to create. So there's the component, which is already selected. You can see this on the right where it's highlighted. So we need to sign. So we click that. Then we need a controller. I was a little slow to respond. So we have those three. So we're basically just going to copy and paste this. So the component. Paste that. Save. There we go. And then the design. And just click on it, we'll go to it. Design, save. And then the controller. Copy this. Okay, so that's save the controller, last one. And save. I'll put all this code in the description as well, just so you have it in both places. So we can actually close this. We don't need this anymore. So we'll go to our flow. We drag an action over and we navigate to record. Is what we called it. So in this example, we're going to get the case ID. It's getting the create case. So after it's created, it will grab the ID. And thus you can kind of mostly ignore. So that's really it. So this is a very simplistic flow just for a demo. Nothing will happen on this. You just click finish. And it will create the case and forward you to it. So let's see how that works. So this is asked to be on a console view. So let's refresh this. So have this in the bottom. There's our flow. So this will create a case and then forward us to that case that I just created. So next. And there we go. There's the new case that got created and very simplistic. Let's show you another way to use this. So here is the same flow on a object and account in this example. So we'll create the case here. And again, forward your right to it. So those are the two ways you can use this in the utility bar at the bottom or with, within an object as well, if both options work. And if we go back to this, and this is very, very handy. So you just need to pass in the primary record ID and it will forward you. It's, I've used this since fall last year on a production org and it's been very, very stable, no issues. So pretty simple, but very powerful as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah.